Okay guys, um, yeah, welcome to part two. So this is just a continuation from part one. So at the moment, we've just come from Hazelmere. We need to get back to the tree known stronghold, so I've just um, teleported to Varrock. I'm going to use the spirit tree and um, the grand exchange. So that's why I'm here anyway. This isn't actually part of the quest. This is just, um, I reckon, probably the quickest way of getting back. You could have um, teleported to Alcrad with your glory and used the gnome glider. That could have been even quicker than this. But I, I, didn't, I just sort of worked that out then. So, yeah. All right, so teleporting to Tree Gnome Stronghold for the Spirit Tree. So you have to go back to Brimstale's Cave. So back to the southwest. So now you can see actually see where it is because I'm running back. Before I didn't actually show you, so now you can. So from the Spirit Tree, you pretty much just head directly southwest until you reach that, that fence there. And then you sort of head north there. That's the dungeon there. So it's actually marked on your map with a dungeon mark, so it's not very hard to find. Okay, so you talk to Brimstale. You tell him you talk and you tell him what you you found, or what Hazelmere told you. So you just keep on talking to him until you finish. And a cutscene. So this cutscene is a lot shorter because. All, it, all it's showing is this invisible gnome figure that's going to sabotage that Oaknox machine. Now, with the Oaknox machine, this is where it actually gets quite tricky. It does get quite, quite tricky. This puzzle, it's, I, I wouldn't say it's really tricky, but it takes a little while because takes a little bit for the sort of the you the right shapes to come up. So yeah. Okay. So you've now telling him that you think that oh yeah, just before this you had to go inspect the um Oaknox machine, so you found that you reckon someone invisible has s sabotaged the machine. So now, this is what all the materials in your inventory is for. So firstly, once you finish talking to him, alright, firstly, you need to get a bucket of sap. Oh, wait. No, you have to go inspect it first. I, uh, have I? I think I might have already told you that. So you just need to re you need to repair. You need to repair it. So to inspect it, because it doesn't actually have an inspect option. So you just say repair. You must do this first, otherwise you won't know what to do. Okay. Now you've now that you've um, inspected it all. You go south from the Grand, um, not the Grand Exchange, the Tree Known Stronghold. Once you get out the cave. So you actually exit the Tree Known Stronghold. I'm not sure if you can do this on any tree. I don't think you can. You can only do this on evergreens. So you need a bucket of sap. So, so this is what your knife's for. So if you go and exit the Grand Tree, or Tree Known Stronghold, through the gates, there will be evergreens, sort of just just um, south of the Trino stronghold, but they're actually shaped as normal trees. I didn't get that. That's why I was kind of looking around for quite a while, and then I just sort of decided to swipe one, and it worked. So you can get a bucket of sap from these trees. Alright, so I found a tree, any tree really. So you just use the knife on a tree and you let the sap fall into your bucket automatically. Okay, so you've got your bucket of sap. And now what you need to do is you need to grind your mud rune up. Alright? So when, once I get back into these gates, I'll grind it up. Okay, so 
you use the pestle and mortar on your mud room and you need to get a ground mud room. Now you use that with the bucket of sap and you'll get magic glue. Okay? That pilot pentagon will come in real, real handy because that's the highest value shape you can have. So don't drop that violet pentagon. Alright. Do you talk to... Don't talk to him, do you? No. Okay, so now you need to go fix the machine. So pretty much all you, all you have to do is you don't have to use anything on it or anything. You just say repair. And it will automatically repair everything. So this is pretty much where you lose all your items. And um, this quest is actually quite good for construction because you get this reward, a crystal seed. When you use it with the crystal, the singing bowl in the middle of the room there, you get a crystal saw, kind of like a crystal bow, but it's a crystal saw. So I believe it's a bit better. And it gives you plus three to your constructions. So it's just kind of like a construction pot. And it has 28 charges. So now when you finished um, repairing it, you come back here and you um, you talk to Broomsdale and tell him what you've done. Okay, so now this is the puzzle part. I'm not actually going to show you how to do it because it's totally random for everyone. But I am going to show you my finished product. So it might sort of just, I don't know, maybe it might ease you. So you can just sort of see what I've done. And I'll um, leave... Um, uh, uh, des in the description, um, a, di um, a dialogue of all the shape and color values, which will help you a lot, because pretty much, yeah, it's and use the exchanger here. This is the exchanger to exchange for lower um, level shapes and colors. So see, this pentagon is worth thirty-five, which is the highest. I can get three sort of mid-level values for it all right so firstly you ne just need to unlock it it's still locked so firstly you need to unlock it and then you need to once you've unlocked it then you will need to um i'm not really sure what you actually do but you have to do another set but instead of just having one like this you'll have to unlock like um i think there's th three numbers and one and one of the numbers is quite small. The second number is sort of mid level, and the third number is quite high. But for the third number, you need thir three shapes to a add it all up. The second number, you need two shapes, and the first number, you only have to uh, you only need one shape for it. So it actually gets quite complicated. But after a while, you get the hang of it. It takes a little quite quite a long time because I mean, the shapes that you get are pretty much random. Not all, they're not random. See, see, the violet circle is worth seven, so I've unlocked it. Alright, so now you need to go back and talk to Brimstow. If you're thinking, oh my god, this is going to be too hard for me, um, I'm not going to be able to complete the quest, it's, don't worry, it's not that hard. It's, it really isn't that hard. Like it's not, and I I wouldn't class it as a problem. It's not problem solving. It's not like a one of those slider puzzles that you get for a clue that take. Well, they take me like five minutes, but for some people they might take an hour or something, and then they might just give up and not do the clue. But this is so much easier than those slider puzzles. It just takes a sort of a little bit to get the to get the right um, shapes. Okay, so this is where the actual, this is the main type of puzzle. The, the first one I did, the first one you do is just to unlock this. See how there's two doors? Okay, so that violet circle there is for number 7. Now you need 2 for number 16 and 3 for number 12. See what I've done? So those green, okay, done it. Okay, fixed it. Finally, yes, woohoo. Okay, um... Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for part three which will be in my other videos so just have a look for them. See ya.